Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Triad Expeditions and I am excited to bring you another product review. So this product review is going to be a Max Trax holder uh, for a or one and three quarter inch uh, tube and this is commonly going to probably be applied to the Baja rack that is on our FJ Cruiser. This product is custom made by GZilla Designs and you can reach them at gzilladesigns.com. They are a company, family owned company, also located here in the state of Ohio just like us. And these uh, mounts are adjustable. They are very high quality, CNC, anodized, uh, adjustable in height here in the back, come with stainless steel hardware. You, like I said before, you can select them either an inch and a half or inch and three quarter, depending on your round tube size. And I just have them sitting here on a Pelican case. Now these work with the Max Trax mounting pin set. And uh, I, I have no experience with these uh, prior to this, but uh, I know that they are a quality product. Also very good hardware, stainless steel, and they are lockable also. A lot of you are probably familiar with that. We're going to be mounting these Max Trax, uh, two of them, up on the FJ. And the cool thing about this also is you are able to put a lock in these mounting pins to lock them up. So where we're going to be mounting them is up here on the side rail of this Baja rack, EXP rack. And this rack is more commonly known for mounting rooftop tents on it. But uh, we're going to, we've never done that. And, and uh, this is actually gonna be the location here. Uh, I'm gonna bring them down on the side as far as I can, and I, that is the cool thing about the GZilla Design Max Trax uh, mounting set is that they are uh, adjustable so that you can lower them down, basically keep the profile down as low as possible. And the next thing I'm gonna show you is them mounted up there minus the max tracks just so that you can see how they integrate with this Baja rack and how professional they look. All right, I thought I'd share with you just a couple things that I've seen already with uh, mounting these brackets up there for the max tracks. My idea will be to basically mount them as low as possible on the side and they'll actually stick off the side. Uh, but I definitely need to consider the fact that the rear door opens on the FJ. So the threads on the Max Trax pins, and I just have three of them shown there, and one of them is actually in the bracket there, uh, are very long. And that's just to basically give you some versatility on depending on what you're mounting them to, if you're mounting them to a different type of bracketry. Uh, they are pretty cool, stainless steel, nice locking nuts. Um, you also have the ability if you just want to take one Max Trax off or just mount one Max Trax that has two different tabs there for the different thicknesses so that you can either do it with one or two. Some of the wrenches that I'm using here so far is you're going to want to use a 1316 open end to basically catch this part of the uh, pin. And then, I'm, of course, I'm using both Imperial and also Metric at the same time. And then a 17, and, and I have this uh, ratcheting type wrench there that I'm going to use for that. And then, uh, it's probably not the exact size, but it is a really nice tight fit. I'm using a quarter inch ratcheting um, Allen head here to basically be able to put the, sorry about the work there, uh, the clamp on. And all of these bolts are the same, which is pretty nice. So that's quarter inch. That'd be the clamp that goes on the tube. And then this is kind of cool. So basically, um, the pins here, they come out and I'm gonna actually put it, take them and I'm gonna use some blue Loctite and I'm gonna put them up there in the middle. So I'm hoping to be able to mount this directly on the tube and like and angle it back so that I can put those up there and have them as low profile as possible. So that's where I'm at right now. And I'll show you, show you more here in a second. All right, so I've basically held the brackets up there to the tubing and figured out that I'm gonna mount it um, in this direction here. So uh, it is, these mounts are very versatile in the fact that 
these adjustments are offset so you can either flip the bracket over um, or have it twist you know the other way so that way you basically can use the whole length of this bar to get it to where you want um, so with that being said there is those little pins that I showed that came out of this area here it's not really necessary to Loctite those in because of the, but I did anyways because it is captured by the bracket itself this right here uh, really a nice design in that regard that that's captured like that so um, just you know really very efficient uh, design. I am going to cut these threads off of this because this will actually come very close to the body of the FJ and really no reason to have these extra threads sticking out here. Uh, lock nuts are going to make it very nice. Also be aware of the fact that there is a specific orientation for these pins. These are actually going to become the rear pins because they're going to be facing the rear and then when I put the pins in the front bracket that's facing the front um, that will go the opposite direction so it's kind of easy to remember which way to make them in the unstowed position because you basically point them towards the back or point them towards the front and you can see what I mean here as the max tracks is keyed so that's basically a keyhole and so you need to make sure that when you're putting Go on to the trouble to tighten them and get them nice and aligned on your bracket that you point them in the right direction and orient them in the right direction. So this is uh, the tools that I've been using so far and I'll cut those off with a uh, Dremel tool and a little cutoff wheel and show you what's next. Alright, so I kind of misspoke about a couple things and I just wanted to make sure that, uh, that they were clarified before I go any further. So I mounted the other side and I know I was making a big deal about orienting the mounting pins, but they actually will go a completely uh, 360 all the way around. So if you do end up mounting them on there and they're, they're pointing the wrong direction, it's no big deal. You just basically have to flip them around so that the holes line up so that when you put put them through the, uh, the max tracks. And then one other thing, I did realize that, uh, I know I was telling you about how the uh, mounting pins have some really cool features and the fact that you can mount uh, one or two, but that's actually not the case. Um, so you need to mount two, but you do have the option of actually mounting four. So um, that's the cool thing. The first little uh, section here on the mounting pin, that is to be, both of these would be turned to mount to capture two of them and then this set here um, this right here would basically stay in place but this one would be turned if you want to end up stacking four so if you are uh, hardcore and r really not even hardcore if you think about it um, you're gonna you're gonna maybe need all four just to basically get traction in a hole so that you're actually using utilizing all four wheel drive. Um, I'm gonna hold off right now on buying another set. Obviously, you know if you're, if you're not aware, uh, Max Tracks are uh, not necessarily what you would call a cheap product. Getting stuck in the woods is not a cheap proposition either. So I guess that's a little bit of a plug for why you would want Max Tracks. Um, one of the things that I have, and I'm gonna jump up here on top is uh, I have some of these cheaper uh, tread treads uh, mounted up here on the top and the end goal is to eliminate those completely but I'm gonna hang on to them I mean I've, I've used them just a couple times but I have four of those total so I think that'd be kind of kind of my backup plan that if I do end up needing to put max tracks on all four wheels then I'll have those as a backup plan so continuing on all right, so there's the rear set, and they definitely use some great stainless steel hardware on these uh, pins, Max Trax does, because they are very uh, solid. So the other good news is that when you do mount this mount, this uh, Max Trax mount from Gzilla up on your one inch tube, that's the perimeter of uh, this particular Baja rack, you always want to make sure that you are aware of which exterior or perimeter tube on your Baja rack because they are different, some of them are. Um, so just verify that, don't take my word for it. Um, the good thing is, is it locks up very solid. So 
uh, even though this uh, is very close to the body and you might say well what about if, you know a tree pushes that down or whatever um, it's very solid I hope that, that that day does not come where it pushes it down like that uh, but I do want them where they're reachable and so this is what I've come up with um, I might maybe put like a plate or something uh, below that uh, I haven't decided yet just to maybe protect or armor the body just a little bit so that it wouldn't puncture or pierce through even a piece of uh, plastic or like Kydex that I have with some double-sided tape would uh, definitely make it much harder for that to occur so I may end up doing that um, just cutting like a strip and then double side taping it up there it would be hidden behind the max track so that'd be easy enough to do so all right I'm gonna mount the other one so here's the final result of the Gazilla designs, Max Trax mounting brackets with some Max Trax, uh, two Max Trax mounted up there on the roof. Um, so basically, I'm pretty pleased really with the overall result. Uh, I did end up putting some uh, Kydex underneath there just in case these were to walk their way towards the body. Uh, just that little bit of plating uh, armor will distribute the weight and basically keep even I think even in some in some tough situations if it was pushing along the side um, keeping it from piercing the body uh, I put some locks up there so that my investment is protected just some little cheap TSA locks if you live in a cold weather environment or your vehicles out in the salt um, they probably will not be the best of uh, choice for you uh, just because I don't think they're really going to hold up to the elements. Um, I'll probably spray some fluid film on them just to basically keep them all nice and lubed and, and working. But as you can see here from the back view, which is kind of the important thing as far as the profile of the vehicle, um, as you can see it sticks out no further than the snorkel, uh, sticks definitely no further than the mirror. Uh, so it's a pretty tight fit and, and definitely I can put two more on there if I wanted to and it really wouldn't increase the overall, pro overall profile of the vehicle. You can see um, the mount there. Um, one thing I did, um, I'm, I'm, on, I'm gonna continue to contact Greg and, um, and tell him about my suggestion as far as putting the anti-rotational pins um, in there so that way you can basically tighten the collars onto the tubing and then and then mount your uh, bar for lack of better terms uh, that accepts the pins uh, because the problem is, is I, I ended up having some clearance issues and I'll see if this captures it uh, probably not but uh, you will get the idea basically in behind the max tracks there and you can see the marks so I could line it up properly um, I did end up not being able to get a Allen wrench of any type behind there to tighten down the screws and so because of that and, and that's a common issue with with uh, I would say you know for a Baja rack because they sit pretty close to the roof line um, but then again not everybody's gonna mount it like I did uh, mounting it sort of like half up on half up on the roof rack and half down the body um, that was my goal was to basically mount these uh, down the side of the body and the back door does clear um, by a good amount so that's not an issue whatsoever and uh, just kind of back up and give you like the overall look of the FJ with the max tracks uh, located on the back there and I think it, I think it looks pretty good um, overall the goal of the FJ now is not really looks or I mean obviously it, it does look good it's a good looking vehicle but really it's about function these days and just being able to take all the items that we want with us uh, with our teardrop trailer and um, so that was my goal was basically not to use any any of the real real estate up there on top of the roof rack so if you have any questions just let me know about that project so shifting gears, um, that is a Pelican case on the ground there. And this will actually be the next project. Um, 
is going to be in that Pelican case. So what we are going to be building, and this is just like a little sneak peek preview of the next project, is a shower tent. And so this will be mounted on the opposite side of the vehicle. Um, and we'll be utilizing our water tanks up on top that I moved to the rear. So right there in that real estate between the water tanks and the rear roof tent, um, that Pelican case is gonna go there. But the one difference is, is actually those treads are gonna get turned sideways or stacked higher. Um, the Pelican case with the uh, Gzilla, I'm gonna use the same brackets as I did for the Max Tracks. I'm actually gonna try to reappropriate them for this project. It's gonna go on the side there, but it will tip over. So uh, we'll see how it works out. And uh, every, thanks for watching everybody. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see the next project. And um, the next project we actually are naming it the Privalu. And that is going to be a shower enclosure that will basically fold out and you will be able to take a shower or also use the restroom in our portable toilet off the side of the vehicle here. So that is the next project. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.